This video will walk you through how to set up your Canvas account, as well as how to navigate the Canvas Learning Management System. After acceptance to the program, you will receive a course invitation in your email. This email will be from Instructure.com, the company that created Canvas, the learning management software we use for the class. If you don't see the email in your inbox be sure to check your spam folder. After clicking the Get Started link, you will register for the course by clicking on Create My Account. Then you'll enter the same email address that you used to apply for the course on the login line. Then type a secure password. Make sure to remember your password or record it in a secure place. You'll then select the check mark to agree to the acceptable use policy. The last step will be to click on register. You will always use the usucourses.instructure.com URL when you access this site. We strongly recommend that you add this URL as a favorite or bookmark so that you can easily return to this login page throughout the course. In the home page of the course, you will find all of the things that you need to know and the steps that you need to take to begin the class. During the course, you will complete eight modules. After accessing the classroom, the first step is to click on Start here and review the information there. Step 1 is to read the course syllabus. The syllabus will outline the topics of each module, go over course objectives, and explanations of grading policies for assignments and assessments. Most common questions will be answered in the syllabus. Next, you should explore the online tools that you will be using during this course. You can learn more about Canvas here. If you would like to download Trello you can do it now or you can wait until later. It is one of the suggested tools that you can use to manage projects in some of the modules. And you can check out other online resources for remote work here. Step 3 will be to test your internet connection. Visit speedtest.net to check your internet connection speed. For the course, you will need at least 8 megabits per second download speed, and 1.5 megabits upload. To make sure your equipment will work for the course, please read the technical requirements page that identifies the browsers, operating systems and plugins that work best with the course. In step 5 you'll be asked to review and abide by the USU Honor Code. You will also be asked to review the core rules of Netiquette which provides you with guidelines and expectations on how to behave online. The next step will be to go to Modules. Go to Module 0 and take the Syllabus Quiz. Next, click on the pre-assessment and complete the answers. After you have finished the pre-assessment, you will be shown a special code. Return to the pre-assessment page and click Start Assignment at the top of the page. Scroll down the page to find the text submission box. Paste the code you were shown in the box. Once you have pasted the code, click on Submit Assignment. You will see that you have successfully submitted your assignment and the date and time it was submitted. Once that is completed please continue on to Module 1. The modules are where the course content is organized. Each module will consist of concept skills and tools, assignments, and quizzes. You will complete the pre-quiz in each module first. Then the concept skills and tools section will cover all the material that you need to learn in the module. Open the concept skills and tools pages. As you go through the concept skills and tools, Make sure to go to the next lesson section by clicking the downward arrow at the bottom of the page. Clicking previous or next will not take you to the next lesson but rather will take you back to the pre-quiz or forward to the module assignment. The activities found within the concept skills and tools section are not graded but are there to help you learn the key concepts presented. You'll complete the assignments for each module. Instructions for assignments are on the assignment page. The post quiz covers the material that you read about in the concepts and skills section of the module. In order to move on to the next module, you must complete all of the items in the previous module. If you have a question that is not covered in this video or the syllabus, you can contact your program coordinator for more information.